This is a laminar flow hood. It is used in tissue culture work to keep samples of cells sterile. That way the cells can grow in sterile liquid culture medium, but they will not be contaminated with bacteria or fungi. The way this hood works is when you turn it on, there's a loud blower, and that blower brings air in through the top of the hood, passes the air through a filter that is so small that it keeps out any kind of bacteria or fungi, and then directs a stream of sterile air down into the chamber. As long as you are working in that chamber, everything in there, let me back up, that chamber will be sterile, and as long as you are careful, you can prevent any contamination from entering the chamber and contaminating your samples. Let me demonstrate. When you're getting ready to work in the hood, one of the first things you need to do is make sure you have everything you need before you start. It's not something that you can just come out of and get run over into the lab next door and get things. So we want to make sure that we have everything that we need in order to transfer our solutions. We pull up the sash, put the materials in the hood, and with this button right here you can turn on a UV light. That UV light, if you leave it on for about five or ten minutes, will sterilize everything that is in that hood. So it will sterilize the surface, it will also sterilize the outside of the containers and all the pipettes and pipetters that you put in the hood. Now, if we're going to work in there, we're obviously not sterile. So what we need to do is try as much as we can to prevent the introduction of any kind of contamination into the hood. To do that, what we do is put on rubber gloves and then rinse them in alcohol. This will reduce the chance of introducing any kind of contamination into the hood. Then, when you're ready to go to work in the hood, you switch the UV light off and switch the main light on. Then, you lift up the sash. Don't lift it any farther than you absolutely need to. And then you're ready to work in the hood. Now, you have to be careful because the sterile air is coming from the top down. So if these are our samples right here, we want to try to prevent reaching over the top of our samples as much as possible. If we want to transfer so this sterile solution from this tube into these two tubes, we obviously need pipettes and a pipetter. Now, the temptation is to immediately open, these are sterile pipettes and will be sterile until we open them. The temptation is to immediately put your pipette in your pipetter. But then once you do that, your hands are tied up holding onto a pipetter. What you need to do first is loosen the lids on all the vials. Don't take the lids off. Just get them so they're loose and still covered. Then, carefully, open the pipette, put it on the pipetter. Now, when we're ready to take sample out of this tube, we take off the lid and put the lid at the back so we won't contaminate it. Pick up your vial and tip it to the side. That prevents you from having your hands directly over the opening of the vial and that reduces the chance of contamination. Again, carefully put the lid on top of that. Go to the tube where we're going to put the sample. Again, tip it to the side and dispense the liquid. Then put the lid back on. In every situation, be aware of the fact that you do not want to get your hands above the lip, above the opening of the liquid that you're working with. You also do not want to touch, like I did right here, the inside of the tube or the inside of the lid. Whenever you take a lid off, if you have to set it down, set it 
at the back, out of the way, where you will not contaminate it. These pipettes are disposable. And then when you're done, you can put the lid on. Once you have the lid on, then you can take your sample out of the hood and do what you need to do with it, centrifuge it, chill it, put it in the incubator. When you're all finished, what you want to do is take a paper towel and ethanol and spray and wipe down this surface. Also, what you want to do when you're finished is close the lid and put the UV light on for again about five to ten minutes to sterilize the hood. Then when you're done, make sure you remember to come back and turn the UV light on. And so that's how we use this laminar flow hood and we'll use it in our cell tissue culture experiments.